Hey everyone, welcome to Override's Redstone Tutorial. This time I'm going to be going over uh, Pistons and their newest addition to the 1.7 update. Um, here I've made kind of like a little secret cave entrance, as you can see. And um, I guess it's not very secret if I advertise it. Okay, anyway. So, you might be able to see there's a pressure pad here. And it opens and closes behind you. I'll show you how to do that. And as you can see, this is my little cave room, but it's incredibly dark. And I'm not going to use torches because eventually torches are going to be nerfed, or the fact where they can, uh, they'll burn out after a while, so they're not going to be very convenient. So if you can see a light switch right here, and now I have light. And I just flip it back off, and now it's dark again. Light. Dark. Now, I'm using a model built by uh, JL2579. Uh, I saw this on YouTube. Basically, he calls it his block exchanger. It's a three-piston setup so that you can move blocks around. Uh, he, he did it so that you have a light block and a normal stone block. As you can see, if I keep the lights on, it basically switches this block with the red with a glowstone block. And it's ingenious the way he did it. Like it was absolutely fantastic. I <laughs> could not figure it out for the life of me, so I basically stole it off his video. I'll leave a link to his video in the description just so you can see how he came up with it. So then you're done here. Flip the lights off, and then you walk out. Now I'll show you kind of like a open guts version of um, the way this is set up as far as the block exchanger. So this is pretty much, it seems very, very simple, but it's pretty complex. The way I put it together is slightly different than the way uh, JL2579 did, so I'm just going to go over the basics of it. So you have your switch, your switch goes off to the left, and you have this cross piece, and it loops over and connects to here, and it also goes through a, um, a repeater, and that repeater is extended all the way to the maximum uh, delay it can be at. That goes into this uh, piece right here. This torch also powers this, and it also determines whether this turns on. Now, the beauty of this is, when this first comes on, it powers it immediately. And then when you have to switch it again, it has to go through the delayer again. This, this allows you to uh, pull this one, actually this one drops, and then it pulls it first, and then once this is pulled back, then this one pushes it forward. Um, this is very, very, very helpful, and it's basically mirrored on the same side, only this torch right here makes it opposite, so this one is pushed out while this one is retracted. And basically the same thing on this side, and then this drops down a level and powers into this one. The way he had it set up, um, the JL2579, it passed through here and connected into here. For some reason that didn't work well for me, I don't know if I just missed a single block of something, but it, the way he had it was great because when it passes through here, the current can go through, but when this block is here, it blocks the current on this side. So if you check out his video, you'll see how he had it set up. Maybe you can figure out what I did, did mess, what I messed up. So yeah, it's kind of simple, but it's incredibly useful, and I could do this all day, this is just fun. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll show you how it, I have it implemented here, and I can also show you how I did this, this door here. It's actually pretty simple. Um, to make it a double door, it's just, it's essentially the same thing I did with the other double door I did in a past video with actual doors, but there is a, is it right here? Where is it? Yeah, here we go. There's a piston right there, and let's see if I can dig down here. There's a piston down here, and essentially it's just a pressure pad with the wire underneath it, and that wire is going into a NOR gate so that it's powered when you're not stepping on it. This makes it so that it's extended, and then when you step on it, it retracts down and pulls that block out of the way. <clears throat> so this goes there, and there is another one. Give me my dirt. There we go. And it's essentially the same on this side, so that, yeah, this comes down and connects to that more gate and goes in there. Also on this side, uh, it basically goes up into... Oh no, what have I done? I've killed us all. Um... Yes, okay. That's better. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay. And then... 
It also comes up another side, goes into this NOR gate, and then basically connects to this one on top. Um, pretty simple design. Uh, it's just a little tricky trying to get around everything, because I had it really close to the circuitry for the um, block exchanger, so that was tricky. But other than that, oops, I should fix this. Oh no, how do I get out of here? Um, oops, hold on. I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to have to hack my way out of here. Yeah, that, that, that's... When this connects to that and that connects to that, it makes that bad loop that I don't want. So that fixes that. A lot of it's just... The circuitry behind it is easy. It's just actually getting it done is hard. See, something got messed up there. Uh, what did I get rid of? Sometimes it just needs to be reset, that's all. Should work. There we go. Oh, calm down. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> hey, we're stuck back here again. Um, geez, this is tricky. Half the battle is just, you know, trying to dig around yourself. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Get rid of you. There we go. Okay, so then we just need. Let's get some light in here, shall we? Pressure pad goes here. Okay. Good. Excellent. Cool. Okay, so enough of that. I'll show you the real fun stuff next. Um, basically, you're just going to hack this open. You can see exactly what it looks like. Okay, here's everything torn apart so you can see all the circuitry behind it. Oops. Um, I like how this pack makes the um, pistons look a lot more gearboxy. Um, anyway, so you have. Essentially, these two are just uh, the same design I had before. That light switch comes around, and it goes underneath here, passes through here, and there's a delay circuit just so that it extends the full way, because when you go from the lights, th the switch all the way around here to this block, it doesn't have enough room to power it, so I just put that delay switch there to extend the current. Um, same thing as before, you have this going in here, that touching that over here. Um, it... Uh, negates the circuit, or the current, goes in here, pops it around, and this is your first one. Now on the second side, this was kind of like trial and error to get, so I'm probably not going to be able to explain it correctly, but this coming out of here goes up in here through a delay circuit that's on the third, one, two, three, I think, the, the one right before the final one, and that connects to your one on the left. Now, on this side, it comes out of this redstone torch comes down here and this gets connected to a repeater on the first um, tick comes out here and then connects to this guy I don't know how efficient this is or if it works right but whatever it works um, and then finally um, coming out of here the one that connects back to here you have it on delay on the next to last one and that pushes that up here why the ticks are at the certain levels, I cannot explain to you, but this is how I got it to work. Um, if you want to tinker around with your own situation, the only reason this was so tricky for me is because the circuitry to make the, the door was right next to the stuff to make the block exchanger. That's why I had to do like this weird workaround stuff. But I'm sure if you're doing this uh, a different way, you can do it a lot easier. So, uh, so yeah, that's how that works like that. It's very, very cool. The way um, the JL2579 had it, he had them like gridded one after the other. So you'll have like this block, oh, yeah. you'll have like glowstone here, glowstone there, glowstone there. That, I don't know how to do that. Um, hopefully he'll post a tutorial on that and then I'll get back to you guys on that. But it's fantastic the way he put it together. So this is his idea. I'm just trying to explain it a little bit further. Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. And also stay in tune for more Redstone songs that I'm working on. And uh, so yeah, I'll see you then.